What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute. Oh, however, in between Jeep Beach and now, I, there's been uh, quite a distance in between the videos here. I get it. Uh, here goes to the little life lesson section of this video. Things come up where it's like nothing is important except you need to take care of this. You know, that's how I was feeling the last couple days. I was taking care of some stuff and, um, you know, we're going to wait and hope everything pans out. But in the meantime, we're back. We're at it. Today's video, we are putting the 40s on the truck now. However, you notice it's nighttime. We're not putting the 40s on now. We're putting them on tomorrow. However, I could bore you guys with like a 12, 15 minute video of me ceramic coating every single wheel, but I'm not. We're going to spend about a minute to two minutes. I'm going to show you what to do to ceramic coat your wheels, uh, get them all prepped. And then tomorrow, I'm going to pick up this video and should be putting them on my truck. I also may be adjusting the lift on my truck as well because it's quite tall and some of the drive shaft angles and all that stuff like that. We're going to get into this, but yes, you got expensive wheels. You take care of them. Ceramic coating, uh, do it yourself. 150 bucks, depending on what kit you do. I use the Jack's Wax 9H kit. Uh, like 150 bucks to protect your very expensive wheels. No brainer. Let's get into this. So these things have been boxed up for a minute now. And in that process, I forgot how large and awesome these things actually are. So today we're going to get... I don't want to do this just yet, but we're going to have to. We're going to unwrap the lips, and you actually will see the engraving for the first time, which will be neat. That's right, build name on the lip. You know. There is the, oh wow, that looks a whole lot more purple with the, uh, <laughs> with the uh, wrapping off. That looks awesome. How we're going to do this today is I'm going to break this out of the box, clean it with the uh, ceramic prep here. And then we're gonna come in here with the uh, what I have left from when I did my truck. Should be a rubber glove, and then you have another one of these pads. Jack's Wax offers extra of these, so I mean, I'm obviously gonna have some extra ceramic coating because look how much was left after I did my truck. But so real quick, I'm pretty much probably gonna show you this on one wheel only, just to you know save yourself. All right, this is just prepping the surface so the ceramic coat can stick to the wheel. Uh, Back of the wheel is at your discretion. I'll probably do the back of the spokes, but not where the weights go because I don't want any uh, sort of adhesion problems. So I'll probably just do the back face, but none of the uh, back lip because that's where the weights will go uh, when I balance them. But I'm going to do the whole face and yeah. We're gonna be doing two at a time. This applicator pad has four sides. You're not supposed to reuse, you know, one side after it dries because it'll crystallize and scratch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the one side and then when I do the other two wheels, we're gonna use the other side. And then because, well, yes, don't, sorry about my sunburn, but um, <laughs> once I stack the dumb ones up, obviously I'll repeat the process for the other two, but I'm just gonna show you the process on these and then we'll get to mounting them. All right, so how this works, short and simple, is you put drops on here, cover the area, drops on here, cover the area, and um, you keep going until it's covered. However, you wanna do smaller areas at a time, so I'll probably do, honestly, a quarter of a wheel, and then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna wipe it off. If you let it dry and you don't wipe it off, you're gonna see streaks, so you're gonna wanna take care of it as uh, you do it. Seven to eight drops. So now when the area no longer looks wet, you're going to wipe that area down. Uh, you don't want to let, let it go more than 5 to 10 minutes because it'll probably dry. Once it's dry, you're kind of screwed, but you want to let it flash, which means it's cured the surface. So you're going to wipe this down until the excess is gone. All right guys, just like that, this quarter of the wheel is done. And then what we're pretty much gonna do is we'll catch right back up tomorrow with us mounting. Okay guys, today is finally the day. We've got our Fury Country Hunter 40, 15, 50, R26s here. Uh, I only had two options with either Fury or Fuel at the moment. I'll go into that at a different time about you know when their tires are coming out, but I only had two options. So we went with the Furies. Uh, a lot of people run them. A lot of people just say, you know what? They roll smooth, they balance fine, they do that. So we're gonna roll with these and hope everything works out. We have our ceramic coated 26 inch forged purple Mojave's here. We're gonna break these open and get all of this mounted up.
right, so the Furies are mounted. Now, this is another reason why uh, pretty much I bought the Furies with my own money. So no sponsorship, no nothing uh, with the Furies. So I can give you an honest review as I put them on here. First thing I want to say is um, balancing one of them was spectacular. It had 0.75 for a 26-inch wheel and a 40-inch tire was it was incredible. Uh, there was one that also asked for seven ounces, and there was also a couple who, you know, were trying to chase weights and stuff like that. So. Balancing, some of them were a little wobbly on the balancer, so we'll see how that turns out. What I've seen with the Furies is even though they look a little shaky or whatever, they ask for weight, they do balance out. What I've seen is they do balance out just fine and they ride smooth. However, now we're going to pull this in, mess with a few of those adjustments, put the 40s on, and uh, yeah. All right, guys, so as you can see, the wheels are off and the truck is on the lift. If you get a sneak peek up there, oh, the one's on it. I won't show you the wheel yet, though. However, what we're doing is adjusting the preload on these springs the one up there that one i adjusted it a little bit and it didn't give me that much less of lift I and mean, maybe drop me a half inch but just reducing the preload on this will greatly improve ride quality because you know as you can see here this spring i already did this one but that one over there is still pretty compressed for being fully extended there's an allen screw here you're going to loosen it up and then i just have a center punch they do make spanner wrenches but some people just said oh this one does uh, the ones I was looking online, I was like, dude, I just use the center punch and it's fine. And I've done it before with the center punch. So you just loosen this up and you're going to crank it back. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, and this this will come up. Yes, I'm using a T30 because I don't, the uh, correct Allen socket I need is somewhere in my engine bay. But yeah, you're just going to loosen this up. I just have this center punch and you're going to stick it in one of these adjustment holes. And... The first couple turns are going to be real tight and then it'll loosen up for you. Okay, so we have the suspension tuned down as much as we possibly can without the spring being like loose in here. So that should provide an awesome ride quality and if I need to adjust any more, I can over here. Oh, wow. can't wait. I'll just reveal it to you guys in a few seconds here after I get the other front one on, but this truck it would be focused on me. That'd be great, actually. Hello. Howdy. Focus. Focus. It looks spectacular. Okay, and on this side of the rear suspension, this upper arm is a little bit shorter than the other side so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and actually uh, loosen these bolts up already we're going to come here and adjust this out so it matches this one is uh, about a quarter inch too short so we're going to push it out and get that all straightened up guys are you ready to see the truck on 40s and 26s uh, I was gonna do a big like cinematic reveal but with the amount of work and time and effort and everything I've put into this truck let's just sit back take a breath and look at the truck on 40s and 26s Wow guys I am blown away the camera I don't when I edit, sometimes the colors are different, but this looks awesome. It just, I actually had some guy that was driving down the road here already stop and say, dude, that purple is sick. And I'm not gonna lie, the wheels complement the lift perfectly. I love, that was an awesome choice on our part, doing the silver. Uh, that looks spectacular. Um, obviously, I need to do more with, uh, I, gotta, I gotta do the front drive shaft still. Still got to get in alignment. But yeah, this looks spectacular. And the little bit of preload we lo we uh, gave up, it did bring the truck down just a hair. I can I can admit that. It did. It, this truck isn't as big as it was before, but it's still large. Um, pretty much I removed, I guess let's go with whatever height was added by the tires was taken away by the removal of the preload. So it's about the same height, but it's not bigger, uh, which is awesome. This is perfect height. The tires 
fill the gap just enough. Um, some people would like it a little bit lower. However, when this is turned, I mean, we have just enough. I don't want to flex at all on something and then it rubs. So this is perfect, actually. But here you go, guys. <laughs> Here's the truck. This thing is an absolute monster. Now looking at this, I'm like, man, those taillights are out of place. They're, uh, what else? The tip is out of place. Oh, this is like a never ending game. But you know what? Get there. On top of that, the headlights. Headlights also probably need to be custom. Obviously, uh, later on this summer, way into the summer, I'm going to be doing the bodyguard bumpers. This is kind of how it's going to sit for a, uh, just a bit. I may, um, obviously, mirrors, handles, I'll probably paint those. Uh, as for headlights, I'm probably going to do custom ones to match the body color. Just just how it is now, the way it's set up. Uh, that stuff is almost a necessity. Uh, fog lights, I'm going to have to change those out. Um, I don't know if I'll do the cubes or not in the meantime. And then from the driver's side as well, it, it honestly is perfect. The wheel gap, perfect. The wheel to tire ratio, perfect. 28s would probably be just ridiculous, even though 26s, in fact, are also ridiculous. Um, this does look awesome. I haven't driven it yet. This looks awesome. As for height wise, before obviously I'm on a hill so this doesn't help, but um, handles eye level. It'll be a little bit of a hop to get in, but they'll still help. And uh, other than that, I'm honestly looking, I'm probably gonna try and figure out a way I can get these. I honestly don't wanna remove these again, but if I have to for the build, I will. Uh, if I can get these somehow custom painted purple, that'd be awesome. <sighs> Rear drive shaft spacer, I'm gonna order that tonight or tomorrow, whatever. I'm just gonna call up call up BDS, get that drive shaft spacer in here. And hopefully after that, that removes the little bit of um, noise I'm getting from the training because the, the slip yoke is way out. But wow, awesome guys. So yeah, guys, there you have it. Look at how big, monstrous that thing is. Look at the stance, ooh, baby. Man, that looks sick. Yeah, bear, I just say bear with me guys on these videos. Uh, I've been dealing with a couple things this week that, you know, I need to take care of those first. And just bear with me on the videos. Obviously, this is coming first. There's a lot of footage from Jeep Beach, so I will be getting that video up to you either next or not, depending if I put that T-case um, ring on tomorrow. Um, but just bear with me, guys. I appreciate all of you. We're closing in on 70,000 subscribers, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for your support. Um, it means the world to me, especially, you know, through builds like this and at times and stuff what I'm dealing with, it honestly means a lot. So hope you guys love the new look of the truck and obviously it will change more. Uh, we, we're gonna keep going. We got so much to do between now and Daytona and between now and SEMA. So I wanna say thank you guys for watching. Take care. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Shoot the video a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.